But you understand by the word Maya. That which is not. Things which we place value on that have no relation to Krishna. Hmm. <coughs> the Maya is explained very nicely in the Bhagavad. Jatabhasa Tathat. Just like sun is reflected in the water uh. and the light is reflected again on the wall. This is the exact explanation of my reality. This material world, and the man who manufactured all these things, Nobody knows where he has gone. But these things are taken as reality. This will be also finished. It will remain as relics, as Rome. Relics. But when it was the houses are prepared, the great enthusiasm as reality. And now it is as relics. So the energy expended for manufacturing those houses, that is also Maya. And now they are being visited as relics, that is also Maya. So all these things are Maya Arvaiva, expansion of Maya. So if somebody says that he don't appreciate these things, no, he appreciates. Very much appreciate intelligence. But if you for this appreciation, if you forget, then it is mine. And forget Krishna, Krishna. then it is mine. Otherwise it is reality. If they would have installed deity worship in these buildings. Huh? How much nice it would have been. People chanting, dancing, and taking prasadam twenty-four hours. Then it is no more Maya. It is reality. Such big, big, nice houses, they should have been places of worshipping Krishna. But they are worshipping bones, keeping some dead bones. Eh? People must be educated that everything belongs to Krishna. That is a fact. Why they do not understand? The government argues that uh. they do not want to discriminate against any religious uh, faith, so they remain secular. No, no. There is no religious faith is different. That is nonsense. Uh, you, we are talking of science. We are just like we we were saying that everything belongs to Krishna. So what is the any religious feeling. Everything belongs to Krishna. How you can say no? Can you say? They can say, uh, we don't know Krishna. We don't know you Krishna. don't know Krishna, but it, it belongs to somebody. He may be named as Krishna or uh, something else. That, is, that doesn't matter. But it, is, it does not belong to you. How you can deny it? You have come here. Suppose I have come here in Paris. I stay here for one week. Does it mean Paris is mine? Similarly, you come from the womb of your mother and stay here, say, fifty years. That is mean your... The same example. Does it mean that, uh, that the world belongs to you? 
Why you are claiming? This is France, this is Europe, this is America, this is mine, this is mine. Before your birth it was there, and when you go, it will remain there. So how you claim that it is yours? So you don't... And you must know as it remained, it was there before my birth, and it will remain after my departure, then how it belongs to you? What is the answer? It belongs to the man that created it. Huh? It belongs to the man that created it, and it's conscious Who created? of its origin. Who created? You created these stones and nature. sand. Yeah. Then what is nature? Life force working behind. Yeah. It's a, a life force that is working. And that what nature is. No. Behind the nature, there is Krishna. My Adhakshi and Apatiti is here. How is it possible, Shri Prabhupada? We're so tiny, like 10,000 to the tip of a hair, and yet we can become so puffed up as to think that even I am God or I am the controller of material nature, like the scientists are thinking. Because there, in the bodily concept of life, they are thinking I'm not teeny, teeny a small particle. I have this big, fatty body. He's thinking that. The dog is thinking, I'm bulldog. Mm. It is like that. The same concept. So that idea is just in the mind? Yeah. That is animalism. Creation is independent of God. Huh? The materialist sees himself acting independent of God. How is independent of God? Napoleon wanted to finish that art and he was kicked out. How is independent of God? Such a big person, strong person, he wanted to finish, but he was not allowed to finish. Then how he thinks that he is independent? That is foolishness, that I can be kicked out at any moment, and still he's thinking I'm limited. What is the answer? Why he was kicked out? He was a very powerful man, and why he was kicked out? No, you cannot finish. You gotta get out immediately. Then, where is independence? You are simply falsely popped out independent. And now, after being kicked out, if he has taken this body of a cat and dog, then what is the benefit? Prakita kirmanani gunai karmani sarvasa. The nature is so strong and the laws are so stringent. You are not independent. If you touch fire, Fire is one of the elements. It will burn your finger. However powerful it may be, you cannot stop it. Then where is it independent? We studied a verse yesterday evening in the Bhagavad Gita in the 18th chapter. Hmm. Krishna says, work always under my protection. Krishna says to always work under his protection, that one may be engaged in all sorts of activities, but in the end, by my grace, you will come back to me. So the activities of the materialistic man, no matter what he does, he will develop another material body for him. The 
Is that right, Srila Prabhupada? Mm -hmm. Yes. And a devotee is acting, but he's not getting any uh, mental impression from his, his activities? Mind, his mental expression is Krishna. He's always thinking of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. No. We have got some propensity to create, just like this beautiful place. We have got creative energy. Therefore, it is advised that Nidbande Krishna Samma, make it for Krishna. You will find in India, we have also created big, big temple, fort like, but for Krishna. Then the energy is spent for creating this path in relationship with Krishna will be utilized as service to Krishna. And if it is simply meant for sense gratification, then you are under the laws of nature. Contaminate. Man, he is very powerful, he is creating this path, but he is contaminated with some infection. He will he not suffer? He must suffer. Huh? Does it mean that because he has created this path, therefore contamination will not act upon him? Is it a fact? It must act. So, after creating all these things, if you contaminate some infectious, more some material nature, then you have to accept the body of cats and dogs. Then what is your benefit? Karanam guna sangha asya sadasat janma yoni. Karanam, the reason for high and low grade birth. He is due to contamination with the modes of material nature. Hare Krishna. Yesterday we said that uh, Prahlad Maharaj didn't fear, uh, Prahlad Maharaj said he didn't fear Lord Nishringadev, even though he was so ferocious, but he feared the material nature. That is contaminated. It can be contaminated to the material nature, then I'll have to accept a body given by material nature. But it's said that a devotee is supposed to be fearless. Huh? It is said that a devotee is supposed to be fearless. Fearless because devotee means one who has taken shelter of Krishna. He is devotee. He is fearless. And one who has not taken shelter of Krishna, how he can be fearless? Uh, suppose there is epidemic disease. If you have got vaccination, then you can become, remain fearless. Otherwise, the epidemic will contaminate us and we will have to suffer. So Krishna is the vaccination to remain fearless. Use the example Srila Prabhupada that just like a little child, when he's near his father, he knows he has nothing to worry about. His father will protect him. Yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Today it is cold, eh? Hari Karanda. Mm, you are feeling very cold? Not too cold. <laughs> I am feeling old man. 
Would you like to snack it off with you? Nah, that's not. So as soon as the modes of nature are no longer working on the spirit soul, mm. then he experiences that he's no longer changing his body. Yeah. They will chase our guna me, mama mad, mama me will have proper dance. Maya me thaag taran. By taking shelter of Krishna. Yes. The thing is that if I am so much susceptible to the contamination of Maya, uh, the modes of material nature, then if I waste my time in material advancement of life, is it not risky? Very risky. Just the other morning you were lecturing that just because we are young, we should not waste a moment here and think that, oh, I, I have so much time to live. Let me put off Krishna consciousness. That is for concert. Prahlad Maharaj says, immediately, Kaumaru Asal is Prahlad, Dharman Bhagavad, no instructor. Our policy is that. Therefore, we have opened Dallas that immediately from the very beginning of life, let them understand Krishna Kama. Srila Prabhupada, if the devotee is fearless, huh? how, how is it that Prahlad was expressing his fearfulness of material nature? Huh? If the devotee is fearless, yes. how is it Prahlad was expressing his fearfulness <laughs> of material nature? Yes, even if you are fearless, you should not be fooled. Because if you know that there is danger, I must be very careful. That is intelligence. That is not fearfulness. Besides that, a devotee like Prahla, he is fearless, but he is fearful for others. That is stated. <coughs> Just like the mother, she knows that uh, she will not catch fire, she will not fall down in the water, but she is always anxious to see her child, that uh, the child may not fall into the water, may not catch fire. He is working in his, she is working in her own way, but always fearful of the child. Similarly, a Vaishnava, he is not fearless for himself. But because he is sympathetic, because he knows that all these rascals, they are wrongly wasting their time, therefore he is anxious. Paradukha dukhi. They are unhappy by seeing others unhappy. For themselves, there is no unhappy. That is their grace. And Vaishnava is fearless. Even if he is sent to hell, he is not unhappy. Because wherever he goes, he will chant Hare Krishna. So actually he has no fear, fearfulness. He is only unhappy. Huh? Just like you are talking, others may think that we are criticizing, but we are actually uh, talking. Suppose this one who has manufactured this big part, and if he has next life, he has become contaminated, the dog's life, then what is evil? Huh? How you can guarantee that you are not going to be a dog? 
It is under the uh, management of material nature. Maram, very powerful. Just like in uh, a big man like Napoleon, he is also under the control of material nature. As soon as the time is, get out. No, I want to finish this ark. No, sir, you get out. Then where is your powerfulness? That they do not. For the temporary power, they become popped up and go to hell. That's all. But they have no conception of hell. These are primitive ideas. It's sometimes very hard to feel that compassion for others when we ourselves are still feeling so much contaminated. Huh? We, we, in the neophyte stage, yeah. we're feeling ourselves so much attacked by Maya that sometimes it's very there, difficult. There, therefore, uh, the, those who do not take this they do not remain within this material. They go to the Himalaya, go to the forest. They are afraid of being contaminated. But more liberal devotees, they take the risk, never mind, I shall go to hell. Let me do something for Krishna. Let others understand something of Krishna. That is their uh, magnanimity. Taking the risk of going to hell is still giving the information, just try to understand Krishna. So such persons are exalted because they are taking their own risk to serve Krishna. At least one man may understand Krishna. And others they are flying, flying away, fleeing away. No, no, we are not going to take risk. Krishna says that there is no one more dear to me. Ustharandi and Bhajananda. Bhajananda means they are interested for their own welfare. And Goshtanandi, he wants to see that more devotees are there. That is the difference. Actually, Prahlad Maharaj said that he was not feeling any anxiety yeah. for himself. Yeah. Feeling anxiety, they're not yeah. taking the Krishna consciousness. Yeah, yeah. And on account of his being, so taking the risk, he is immediately very dear to Krishna. That is declared in the Bhagavad Gita. Anyone who is trying to broadcast my message, my glory, he immediately, uh, there is no more dearer than him, anyone. So one should take this. Srila Prabhupada, just today you said that Krishna appreciates devotee when he accepts voluntary adversity. Huh? Yesterday you said that Krishna appreciates when a devotee accepts voluntary adversity. Like the kings who gave up everything to live an ascetic life. But how do we know what, uh, how do you know uh, when it, we should accept this adversity? Sometimes people artificially... But adversity is not all as to accept. But you have to follow the regulatory principle and join in this hastha. That is, in one sense, suppose uh, you are accustomed to certain type of standard of living, but for Krishna's sake you have to give it up. And that kind of adversity. That is not actually adversity, but he thinks that I have taken this voluntary. What is this? Electric. So not a single useful tree. These trees are 
No fruits, no flowers. Huh? Can we call these trees demonic? Not demonic. Sinful. They have many seeds to reproduce themselves. Huh? But no fruits or flowers. Impious. Not fire. What is the name of this park? The Tuileries Park. Huh? The Tuileries Garden. Tuileries. Tuileries Garden. That is the name of a person? I don't know. It was the talk of the king before. The king is a person. So you were explaining that they're naming everything in the material world after different people in regards to Lake Geneva. They huh? said it's Geneva's lake, but actually it is Krishna's lake and Krishna's park. Yeah, but they have no sense. They think it is Geneva's park. Purusha Tom Park or something like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Therefore, we give name everyone. Krishna Das, servant of Krishna. Okay. the argument, could you eat if we brought you the cow and let you kill him, kill her yourself? And they say, no, I could not do that. But yet, when the cow's meat is killed and wrapped up in a nice wrapper, they eat and they don't have any bad feeling about it. This is called Maya. He cannot face the actual situation, but covered by some Maya, he accepts. This is another example. Directly killing the animal, he cannot tolerate. But when it is covered by Maya, the same danger he accepts. It's like the people, they, they say that. The air is very polluted. We cannot breathe it now. And they will smoke cigarettes also. Yeah. Actually, our preaching bird is when we show people how by avoiding Krishna, they actually kill themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three sides, right? Atmaha. Narthandas Thakur said, Janiya, Suniya, Vishokhai. Knowingly, I am drinking poison. Knowingly. Janiya, Suniya, Vishokhai. Hari Hari Pale Janama Gohani Manasya Jivana Bhaiya Radha Krishna Navajya Janiya Suniya Vishakhaim Vishakhaim means drinking fire.
<laughs> Although a devotee seems, feels helpless in the hands of Krishna, still in order to execute his duty, he must be very strong. Yeah. How does he reconcile this too? He, he must work for Krishna. He is not doing anything for himself. He, he is doing for Krishna. For Krishna said, one can take any kind of risk. Just like the Kurmis, they take any kind of risk for earning some money. Similarly, Bhakta also will take any kind of risk to satisfy Krishna, Guru Krishna. Jasya prasadat bhagavat So it is not very clean, why? Many, many people come here every day, not too many people clean. Difficult to pace, difficult to have people clean. They think it's too low as an occupation. They spend their money making bombs instead of sanitation. <laughs> Instead of taking bath ah. every day, hmm. they use perfume hmm. on their body. Fifty years ago, very few people had a shower in the home. And they would go to a public bath once a week or twice a week for a bath. The rest of the time, they clean themselves off with alcohol. It's still in Germany. They have no bath in every house. They go to the public bath. Is it not? Simply, they have got only one toilet, that's it. And for taking bath, they go to the public. They have to pay something. Creation of materialism is only one force. What happened yeah. to the other three force? What is this? This is a Greek myth. Boom, he's killing. Head of a bull. Head of a bull. Head of a donkey. Uh, Celestial. Uh, Minotaur. Minotaur. Uh, Minotaur. 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 Dukkha, Dukkha, yeah. Maharaj Dukkha. In order to chant the holy name purely, Srila Prabhupada, is it necessary to feel separation? Mm -hmm. In order to chant the holy name purely, mm -hmm. is it necessary to have feelings of separation? Yeah. 
provided he has got the taste for chanting. Otherwise he will sleep. Yes, and some small parts of it used for administrative offices, for government and police. This used to be a king's palace. Huh? This used to be the king's palace ah. in France. Yeah, this was the palace before ah. they built the big palace in Versailles. Versailles is like a de demigod's planet. The most wonderful uh, building in all of France. Everything in gold and oh. wonderful paintings. Are very, very big. And wonderful gardens and rivers. The king of France was very intelligent. In order to keep the, the nobles from revolting against him, he invited them all to his palace to enjoy with him. And he gave them wonderful feasts and a lot of sex life and wonderful uh, music. And like this, they never revolted during his time. This is Louis XIV. They probably didn't do much to help him either. They called him the saintly king. Oh, the sun king. Sun king. What is that, sun king? Why did they call him sun king? Because he was very young. Today, French people collect millions of dollars every year from the Americans to keep Versailles uh, beautiful. Uh, American tourists pay. Yes, many hundreds and thousands of American tourists come there every year just to see this opulence. The Americans appreciate opulence. That's why we joined your movement. Yeah. Chaturthida bhajante ma shukriti na urjana. So, because in your previous life you had been pious, you have got your life in America, now utilize it. Certainly, I, several times I have told that you, previous life you are pious. There is no doubt about it. Now utilize that opportunity. You have got opulence, you have got money, you have got intelligence. Utilize it for Krishna. Then it is successful. And Krishna has also come. This Krishna consciousness movement has come to your country. So utilize it properly. I think we must be extraordinarily fortunate that Lord Krishna, he appears once in the day of Brahma, and he appeared just 5,000 years ago. And then Lord Chaitanya just appeared 500 years ago. And we have an opportunity to associate with him. Yeah. Always remember this grace of Lord and utilize it.
after these houses were constructed before Napoleon or after Napoleon? Before. Which, which? This big house? Yeah. Before Napoleon. Before. Before. But this arch is called Carousel Arch, and that's for Napoleon. After Napoleon? Yes. And, and the glories are some victories. It's in Germany, you know.